Hi, my name is Megan Durham. I am a um, senior at Michigan State studying communication and specializing in public relations. And I am from Lake Forest, California. So Megan, you were just talking about being an intern. And so the last year you spent actually back in California. What were you doing? I was interning for the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, the baseball club there, um, working in their community relations department. So all of their charity based activities. Um, and it was, it was a full time internship. I took a full year off of school and I just got back. And you just got back? Yeah. So how did you end up at Michigan State? Well, um, it's kind of a long story, but my mom made me apply. I toured and loved the campus, and then um, I decided I, I met the alumni out in Orange County, actually, and they did a lot of recruiting to get me to go here. Um, I, at the time, I wanted to work in sports broadcasting, and Mario and Pimba, who used to broadcast for the Angels on the radio and is now on TV for the Tigers, um, was very actively involved with the Orange County alumni when he was out there, and so they actually had him give me a phone call and um, he talked to me about how much he had loved Michigan State while he was here and all the things he had done and gave me a cell phone number, said if I ever needed any help to let him know. And I was sold, I was here. Wow, that is great. So what was the most shocking thing when you came to Michigan as opposed to California? Um, well, the weather was certainly an, an adjustment, um, but I mean, I love it here. I was surprised at how easily I adapted to the weather. Um, and it's just, it's been gorgeous. I absolutely, I've loved every minute I've spent here. It was surprisingly easy to be away from home, um, but it was, it's been just wonderful. Everything's been fantastic. So what kind of assumptions did Michigan students have about California people? Oh my gosh, they ask the funniest questions. Um, everywhere from, did you used to surf to school? To, um, do I know Lauren Conrad? Did I go to her <laughs> high school? Um, do I know movie stars? You know, why don't I have blonde hair? Just so <laughs> many, so many funny questions. And the other big one is why on God, like, why on earth are you here? <laughs> but I mean, it's, it's just funny to see how they all react to me coming here. That's, that's, it, that's very interesting. So you mentioned uh, the Orange County uh, Alumni Club. Now you received uh, a couple of scholarships, is that what you said? Yes, I received a scholarship from, the, from Michigan State University, um, it's called the Presidential Scholarship, it's partial and it's academic. And then on top of that, the alumni have also given me a yearly, um, a yearly scholarship, just the alumni in Orange County. So that's, that actually helps out a lot, those funds are huge. That's great. So. Well Megan, if you um, were asked to sum up all the experiences that you've had at, at MSU, in one word, what would it be? Just breath, I don't know, breathtaking? It, or just amazing? It, there's so many things, just so many things that I've gotten to do while I've been here, and it's, it just, it surprises me every time I think about it, all the amazing opportunities that I've had while I've been here, so. That's great, so where are you going after graduation? Um, I'm hoping to move back to California and get a full-time job with the Angels. Oh, um, nothing's, nothing's, for, nothing's for sure, but that's definitely my, my aspirations. It's really what I want to do, so we'll see. Great. Well, thanks so much, Megan. Go green. Go white. Hi, my name's Jordan Rackin Costello, and I'm a freshman here at State. Um, I'm an elementary ed major, and I'm originally from Redondo Beach, California, and I went to Miracosta High School. Redondo Beach, so yep. from Redondo Beach to East Lansing, Michigan, yep. doing elementary education. There's probably other elementary education colleges. What made you pick Michigan State? Well, originally I had no idea where I wanted to go, and then I went to a college fair um, held by my school, and I saw Dan Seidman there, uh -huh. and he had a booth, and he told me that MSU was number one in study abroad, and in the elementary and secondary education majors, and that pretty much just made up my mind for me. Did you visit here before you came? No. So you came cold turkey? Yep. Wow. Now, are you planning on study going to study abroad? Um, I hope so. I want to study in Spain. Ah. Do you speak Spanish? A little bit. Okay, well, you can immerse yourself in <laughs> yeah, it Yeah, exactly. So when you got here, what, uh, how did you feel? What are, you, what are your experiences here? 
Um, so far I've joined the dance club, so that was a big help in meeting people and stuff like that. And I live in Brody, so being with like a bunch of other freshmen is really good. And I know a lot of people don't have this experience, a lot of people like don't like their roommates, but my roommate and I just clicked immediately and we already have like an apartment for next year and all this stuff, so that's been really helpful too. Okay, I have to ask you, have you been to the new Brody Hall dining room? Yes. Do you love it? I love it. If I did not have such a great cafeteria, wouldn't be good. <laughs> it is great, yeah. isn't it? So in, uh, in getting used to Michigan, what has been your biggest challenge, Jordan? Um, probably walking around in the cold. Um, I find even with like great snow boots on, I'm always like slipping <laughs> on the ice and stuff. And like when I'm walking with other people, they're always making fun of me. <laughs> they're like, oh, you gotta get your like Michigan ice legs. <laughs> I'm like, all right. <laughs> well, good. So you're gonna come back next year? Yeah, for sure. Great, great. So now, uh, coming here, did, uh, did you receive any uh, assistance uh, from, from the university, from scholarship money at all? Um, yeah, I got financial aid from the university and then I got scholarships from my high school and from like the um, LA Alumni Association, they gave me a scholarship. They did? Yeah. That helped, huh? Yeah, it did. Oh, great. Yeah. So this is only your first year and you're not even quite through it, but if you had to sum up your Michigan State experience so far in just one word, what do you think it would be? Hmm. Awesome. Well, we sure wish you well for the next four years. So Thank you. Go green. Go white. My name is James Rice. Uh, I'm a sophomore at Michigan State University. Um, I'm a civil engineer, and uh, I'm from Laguna Niguel, California. Where'd you go to high school, James? I'm with the Dana Hills, uh, Dana Hills High School. Okay. And you're a sophomore this year? Yeah. Okay. So how, uh, from California, how did you get to Michigan? Um, well, I always wanted to go someplace uh, back in the Midwest or back east. Um, I didn't really want to go to any place in California, maybe because of all the budget, budget stuff. But uh, <laughs> anyways, um, pretty much it was between Ohio State and Michigan State, and I toured both campuses. And I really loved the feel of Michigan State's campus. It was really friendly, the people there, like the students I met were really cool. And um, I just you know, fell in love, I guess. And I just, you know, went there, decided to go there. So far, it's been a great experience. So there was, uh, there was no family pressure? You told me that your mom went to Ohio State. Well, yeah, she did, but um, she just wants me to go where I'll be happiest, pretty much. And what attracted you about the engineering department here? Um, well, civil engineering-wise, um, we, have, we have, a, they have a pretty, well, Michigan State has a pretty good program, so, um, and I've always wanted to be an engineer, so, you know, it's just natural. What kind of engineering are you going to do, city I'll or? probably do transportation. transportation. Yeah. It's a huge need right now. Yeah, definitely. Wow. Mm. So, um, you also told me that you play sports. Yeah, um, I play soccer for my fraternity Phi Gamma Delta. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh. And um, I also work out three times a week, go to the gym. I run periodically outside and on the treadmill, all that stuff. Now how's running in Michigan, in the snow? Um, it sucks, <laughs> <laughs> admittedly. Um, it's a new experience, definitely from running in California when it's like 66 degrees, um, definitely. Um, it's actually a better workout though, because mm -hmm. you know, you have to <laughs> work out a little harder to get through all the snow and, s and the cold and everything. So, I get a better workout. <laughs> so James, do you do any volunteer work around campus? Um, yes, I'm in Engineers Without Borders, which what is, is that? Um, that is a student organization uh, for engineers only that does uh, community service um, around East Lansing and in the, on the entire Michigan area, as well as international work. Uh, right now, I'm on the International Committee Board for that club, and uh, right now we're looking for um, someplace abroad that we could go to do an engineering project that would benefit the community there. Yeah. What do you do locally then in, in East Lansing? Lo um, locally, um, well, we do. Um, we did last semester. We did uh, Red Cedar cleanup, Red Cedar, uh, the Red Cedar River cleanup, where we uh, went in and just fished out garbage, pretty much. And uh, we also we went to this um, recycle event where we helped out um, unloading 
um, like TVs and uh, old radios and stuff that, you know, recyclable materials um, from peop um, particip participants' cars and then, you know, putting them in trucks and whatnot to be recycled. Um, also, um, we went to Lake Lansing Park and then we uh, cleared invasive species of trees from the, uh, the area that are um, that were damaging the local species. So, um, this is stuff like that. Wow, that's very environmental, very yeah. green, very, <laughs> very Michigan State green, mm -hmm. yeah. So what are some of the silly assumptions that Michigan people had when you came from California? Um, well, not many actually. Um, they said, uh, why did you come here? Why did you come here? Why did you come here? That's that's pretty much all. <laughs> um, uh, they act, I don't know. That's they act like for my fraternity. That's pretty much all they asked. Did they? Yeah. Um, as Are well. Are you the only one from California in your fraternity? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, there's another guy from Europe, but. Oh, well, he doesn't Yeah. Of <laughs> you know, we're a large study abroad school. Do you do you hope to go abroad at all? Uh, um, eventually, I I want to, but I don't know if it's going to happen. Um, maybe to Australia or Germany or something. Wow. Yeah. Do an internship or? Yeah, if I can get one. <laughs> now, um, coming here, did you receive any assistance to? Um, um, financially tuition? or yes, financially. um, no. No. Well, I got the OC alumni scholarship, which is two thousand dollars, but okay, I really so appreciate that. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. You got it from the Orange County well, alumni. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is that um? How did you get in contact with them? Um, they called me. Um, and then they had me talk to a student who was from California, who was going to Michigan State, and I talked to him. Um, and you know, uh, from there they had me um, write an essay, um, stating you know, um, you know why I would wa why I'd want to go to state go to state, um, and you know my values and everything like that. Mhm. Mm and then you got a scholarship. Yeah. Well, that's that's great. Every little bit helps, doesn't mm -hmm, it? Mhm. Definitely. So if you had to, I know you're a sophomore, but if you had to to sum up uh, the experience that you've had here. Uh, at MSU, in, in in one word, what would it be? Um, fantastic. I mean, it's probably the best part of my life. I love you. Wow. Yeah. Great. Well, thanks, James. Mm -hmm. Go no green. Problem. Go white. Thanks, West Coast Regional Council. Go green. Go, Go white. white.